what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me here on Daily Dirt. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing this headphone. This headphone right here is uh, made by Uquire, and uh, it's a, you know, it's a Chinese made uh, a pair of headphones, and uh, they're pretty decent, and that's exactly what I'll be talking about here. Um, these are nice Bluetooth headphones that you can fold and they just kind of pack away real nicely. They do come with a carrying case. It's a nice hard shell case. And it does, uh, it also comes with a headphone stand. So you can set your headphone down. Um, that headphone stand is uh, made out of three different uh, components. Uh, the base is made out of ABS plastic. Uh, the shaft is made out of uh, aluminum. And then the, the top where the headphones rest is made out of like a soft pliable um, leather, a soft, pliable, uh, rubber type material. Um, speaking of materials, uh, these headphones are made out of uh, a mixture of of uh, a mixture of aluminum, uh, plastic, and pleather. Um, and uh, this, is, uh, but they feel really nice, you know, uh, along the band and along the sides and the ear cups themselves all have this nice rubbery like smooth texture it's almost like uh, uh it's almost like it was plastic dipped or something it just feels really smooth um and uh it seems like it, it would be a little bit more difficult to scratch this kind of material than it would be uh just straight up plastic you know which would show the scratch very quickly um uh, the joints where it folds and extends, this is all metal here, um, seems very durable. Um, these cups also rotate, uh, which I guess is also to help uh, put them away or something. You know, it just makes them a little bit smaller. Um, sound quality, these are pretty decent. I've, uh, I've listened to a few hours worth of music. I've done about an hour's worth of phone calls. Um, audio quality is uh, decent. Um, it has a decent uh, 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 bass response. Um, the uh, the highs are a little bit lacking, um, so you're not going to get as nice uh, uh, like the lyrics of a song. You're not going to be able to hear them as nicely, but that's okay. Um, uh, these are what they are. They're they're just a cheap set of Bluetooth headphones. They have some extra features that you may not be able to get for the same price in the store. Um, these are about $39.99 uh, online on Amazon. And uh, I mean, for what you get, you really can't beat that price. You, um, these are Bluetooth, but they do uh, a Bluetooth uh, phone calling. And they have the they have a, a NFC chip. Uh, the NFC chip right here allows you for uh, a quick pairing with your phone. Um, you know, you have your NFC turned on on your phone and a Bluetooth, you tap these two together, boom, it forms a connection via Bluetooth and you're done. There's no, there's no pairing, but the pairing itself is pretty easy if you just do it the manual way. By going to your Bluetooth settings on your phone, hitting discover new devices and it'll pick it right up. So, I mean, that's not a big thing, but this is a nice extra feature to have. Um, the other thing is that these headsets have a built-in pedometer. That's pretty interesting. Uh, you don't see a lot of that uh, nowadays. Um, every, usually people either measure their steps via a, an app on their phone like Google Fit or they actually have a, uh, a, a wrist watch uh, that is a pedometer like the Fitbit Charge HR, which is what I have. Uh, I'm not wearing it right now. but. Um, I'm going to be doing another review uh, where I where I put this set of headphones uh, uh, with the built-in pedometer. I'm going to put this up against the Fitbit Charge HR and the uh, Google Fit app for your phone, uh, for Android phones anyway. Um, I'm going to be comparing the three, you know, see seeing how close they are to each other. Um, I mean, I would guess that would make a good source of having an average number, you know, have three sources, um, but it's going to be a pretty interesting video, but I digress. Um, when it comes to call quality, when you're speaking to someone on the phone, it's uh, it's not bad. Um, uh, their, their voice sounds uh, sounds slightly muffled, but you, it's still clear. Um, but 
my wife has told me at least uh, that I sound like I'm in a wind tunnel, which is a pretty accurate description of a tunnel um, because uh, there, there are many types of tunnels. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very specific sound. Uh, uh, so I blame that not on the Bluetooth technology because we're up to 4.1 now and this is what this uses. It uses 4.1 uh, for Bluetooth. Uh, I'm going to blame that on the tiny, tiny little microphone here, which is probably not any bigger than the one on your phone, but this tiny little microphone uh, may be a little bit on the cheap side when it comes to quality. So that's something I would want to see improved. Um, but also on this right ear cup, you have the charging port, uh, the U uh, micro USB charging port, just like well, most phones, unless you have an iPhone, um, and then uh, a nice headphone jack. Um, on, which is really an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter jack. That's nice to plug into uh, a device that doesn't have Bluetooth built in, like an older AV receiver, for instance. Um, so when you plug it in, uh, you can still listen to that AV or whatever it is uh, without needing Bluetooth. So that's a nice little extra feature that they included. Um, I, I know some other companies are doing the same thing, but it's nice nonetheless. Um, on this right ear cup, uh, we also have uh, all the controls. Um, there are no controls on the other side, that's where the NFC chip is. On this side, um, you got the on-off switch, which, uh, which is also used to pair the device with the Bluetooth phone. So like you hold it down for, I think it's like six seconds or something like that, it'll start pairing. Um, but it's also to, uh, to end or start a phone call. Um, I noticed if I hit it once, um, Google Voice comes on on my phone, which is nice. Um, you know, I can give commands through this. Um, you got the plus and minus button here, and you know, for volume up and down, and uh, going to the next or previous track. And I think you just have to hold those down for that. Um, and I think this is just like a pause button down, a pause and play button. But yeah, uh, it's not bad at all. I um, I I do enjoy wearing them. They're Pretty comfortable. I mean, these these ear cups right here are soft, like super soft. I mean, just I just want to sit here and squeeze it all day. But yeah, it's like a soft leather, uh, cushiony feel to it. And when I put them on, they just they're really nice. You have to make sure that you extend this part a little bit too, so it doesn't put too much pressure. But whatever pressure is there, it's pretty comfy. I've worn them for about two hours straight once and I felt, uh, I didn't feel any pain. Um, what I did feel, however, was that the, um, that they got a little hot. You know, there's, there's really not a lot of room to, uh, breathe in there, you know. It's just a, it's just a circle. There's nowhere for the air to go. So, if you're like me, who's pretty hot-blooded, you know, you know, get, gets hot real easy. Um, this may be a concern, um, but even then, you know, as long as the ambient temperature, you know, it's not the middle of summer, uh, you know, if, if that's low, then I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, these are uh, uh, pretty comfortable uh, in most situations. So yeah, and they extend nicely. I mean, I have a pretty big head, but if I extend them to the max, they're they're almost too big. Yeah, they are too big, see? Just gonna squeeze them together a little bit. And they're perfect. So, like I said, I do enjoy these. Um, uh, these are for sale on their Amazon uh, page. And I think they're uh, right now, uh, as of this video, they're $39.99. Um, but if you wanna check them out, I do encourage you to use the link in my description um, by, when you click that Amazon link, it's, uh, it gives me a little bit of kickback when you buy something. It doesn't have to be this that you bought, but as long as you click that link to go to Amazon, I get a little kickback, and that helps me to build this channel. Um, you know, by, by doing these reviews, um, uh, I get a little bit of money, but then I can keep doing them, you know, do them for you. Um, I am saving up right now for a better camera. Right now I'm using my LG V10. Uh, it's recording in 4K, I'm gonna, which I'm going to downsample to 1080 just so it looks good. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm saving up for, uh, for a DSLR or, or MSLR, you know, mirrorless. <laughs> um, so 
I, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, click like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.